Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to take the composition of tan of inverse sine of negative 3, uh, 3 over 4, and evaluate for this uh, composition function. So since I notice I'm taking the inverse sine of negative 3 um, over 4, uh, I notice that it's not going to be a point that's on the inner circle, so I'm going to have to create to, uh, some right triangles. Now, there's a couple right triangles that I can produce. Since my opposite side is negative 3, I have two triangles here. I could have theta here, and this be a negative 3 over 4. Or I could have a triangle here, where here's theta, and I have negative 3 over 4. Remember, your hypotenuse is always going to be uh, positive. So my opposite side is going to be, always be negative 3. But since I'm taking the arc sign, I need to make sure that my function is going to fall within the inverse. I'm sorry, it's going to fall within the range of my function. Therefore, my angle has to fall between negative pi halves and pi halves meaning this triangle has to be either in the fourth or in the first quadrant. Well, this triangle, how it's written, is going to land in the third quadrant. So therefore, it will not fall within the range. So therefore, I can't use it. So now, what I need to do is, since I'm determining what the tangent is of this angle, I need to do the opposite over adjacent. So I need to figure out what my adjacent side is. So I'll use Pythagorean theorem to help me determine what my adjacent side is. So I have a squared, which I'll call this leg, plus my b squared, which would be negative 3 squared, equals 4 squared, which is my hypotenuse. So I have a squared plus 9 equals 16. Subtract 9, and I get a squared equals the square root, I'm sorry, equals 7. I'm getting ahead of myself. Take the square root of both sides. a equals plus or minus the square root of 7. Now, since I know that my so, um, this side length is positive, I'm just going to leave this as the positive square root of 7. Now what I need to do is evaluate for the tangent of this triangle. Well, the tangent is going to be, remember, the tangent of an angle in a right triangle is going to be your opposite over your hypotenuse. So in this problem, that's going to leave me with a negative 3 over the square root of 7. By rationalizing my denominator, I now obtain negative 3 square root of 7 divided by square root of 7. And that's going to be my final answer. There you go. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.